Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Tuesday in Red Dead Online. This week's update lasts from March 8th to March 14th, and with it comes some free items and rewards, and today on the show we will be talking about those, as well as a few other things. I'll be making a custom Bounty Hunter outfit for you guys to try out in-game if you like it, just to kind of go with this month's Bounty Hunter event for the month of March. And then also at the end of this video, I'll also be giving a reminder for all of the bonuses and discounts. If you didn't catch last week's video, I uploaded a money guide for the bonuses as well as a buyer's guide for the discounts if you are interested in checking those out on the channel as well. But with all that said, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So starting off this week for March 8th through the 14th, the featured series mode is Hardcore Takeover Series, which is paying out three times money and three times XP, and your weekly rewards and free items for this week are two treasure maps. One of them can be acquired if you complete five regular, legendary, or infamous bounties, and you'll be getting a treasure map for the West Hill Haven location. If you want to take that a step further and get a second treasure map, just complete 10 regular, legendary, or infamous bounties, and you'll receive a treasure map with information about a treasure chest located near and around Oak Ray's run. We also have some other free rewards to look out for in the coming weeks. If you're interested, next week, March 15th through the 21st, your featured series will be Hardcore Elimination Series, which is also paying out three times money and three times XP. And your free reward for next week, complete five legendary bounties and get a select colorway of the Tide Pants. For the week of March 22nd through the 28th, you'll be playing the Hardcore Team Shootout series for the featured series, which is again, paying out three times money and three times XP. And if you complete five infamous bounties that week, you'll receive a select colorway of the Hopeman Vest, which is actually some returning limited time clothing in this game. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that because I know a lot of people have been wondering, you know, where the limited time clothing is, where it's been, when it's coming back. And while we only have two limited time clothing items this week and limited stock clothing, you definitely want to check that out. And then lastly, for our last week of this March event, March 29th through April 4th, we have the Hardcore Showdown series which again is paying triple money and XP. And if you complete 15 regular legendary or infamous bounties, that will result in a prize for your character of three gold bars. Our monthly event free rewards, licensed bounty hunters who play Red Dead anytime between March 1st and April 4th. So the entirety of this event, you're gonna receive 150 revolver cartridges, plus a reward for a free honor reset. So you can start doing those low honor missions, crimes, etc. while prestigious bounty hunters will also receive a free bounty clear for playing. Now, each of these rewards will be accessible from the benefits menu within 72 hours. That's where you're going to be able to claim these rewards. And if you reach a three-day bounty hunter roll streak, you'll receive a reward for five gold bars off the cost of a prestigious bounty hunter license, which is basically levels 20 through 30 of the prestigious bounty hunter roll. And those who reach just a three-day cha daily challenge streak in general, while already carrying the prestigious bounty hunter license, they're going to receive a reward for 30% off a prestigious bounty hunter roll item. And if you track down and complete any player bounty over the course of the next month, you're going to receive a reward for 50% off a single bandolier, and all Red Dead players who log in this month will also receive five special horse revivers. Doesn't matter if you have the bounty hunter roll or not. Now, make sure to claim the free bounty hunter outfit items in the catalog. Rockstar featured an outfit created by Reddit user Wiscato, and you can create it from scratch for absolutely free. Just go to the catalog and find all the items listed on screen if you have not already. These items should be available in the catalog for absolutely free. Now, again, reminder on the bonuses, we have triple money on legendary bounties and infamous bounties, which, you know, if you're trying to get those other free rewards in game, this is the way you're going to be able to do it. Triple money on legendary bounties and infamous bounties is a huge opportunity, but you can also check out double money on regular bounties and player bounties, the double money opportunities on the bounty hunter free roam events like manhunt and day of reckoning and by completing a bounty hunter free roam event each week this month you're going to get five capitali as a reward which isn't really a big deal but you can also turn in a bounty each week between the first of this month and march 28th and you'll receive another two gold bar as a reward so you're going to get five gold bars throughout the course of this month just for completing a few different bounties here and those are rewards from rockstar the discounts again quickly go over those 30 percent off all coats in the game 30 percent off all repeating rifles which is the carbine the evans the lancaster and the litchfield repeater we have an opportunity for 30 percent off any and all weapon engravings at the gunsmith we have 30 percent off the bounty hunter scofield revolver variant which requires the bounty hunter roll for 
purchase. We have 40% off the Andalusian breed of horses and 40% off the Breton breed of horses at the stable. The Bretons is part of the Bounty Hunter roll, so you won't be able to get those unless you have that roll. We also have 50% off all Bolas and Bolas variants, throwing knives and high velocity ammo for repeaters, revolvers, and rifles. And then also 30% off ammo crafting pamphlets like tracking arrows, express explosive ammo, incendiary buckshot, explosive slugs, small game arrows, split point arrows, dynamite arrows, fire arrows, fire bottles, poison arrows, poison throwing knives, volatile dynamite, volatile fire bottles, toxic moonshine, and all of these pamphlets are going to be able to be found and purchased at any fence in Red Dead Online, but you may need to reach a certain rank requirement in order to unlock these items. Now, lastly, to finish off this video, I wanted to create a custom Bounty Hunter outfit for you guys to try out in game. I was inspired personally by Wiscato, by what he created, and so to wrap up this video, I want to feature another style of Bounty Hunter outfit that you can try out in game. Wiscato's version was very clean, classy, and I call my version the Executioner, and it's similar to some of the outfits that you can find in the catalog for the Bounty Hunter, but with the exception of the hat and gloves, the rest of this outfit is created completely from scratch. And it's like if we had, you know, additional levels for the Bounty Hunter role and we had another Bounty Hunter expansion above the prestigious Bounty Hunter, this is what I can imagine Rockstar would kind of be offering as like the next set and the next level of Bounty Hunter role outfits. So starting off with the Executioner, when you're making this outfit, the hat, you're going to need a Thorgood outfit and you're going to want to get the Thorgood hat. For the poncho, you're going to go to the poncho section in the catalog and unlock the Manstia poncho. For the vest, you're going to buy the Baras vest, which should be available in the catalog. For the shirt, you're gonna wanna purchase the Lotnip shirt. For the gloves, you're gonna wanna check out the Thorgood gloves, which again is another Thorgood outfit purchase. So you're gonna need to purchase two Thorgood outfits for the hat and the gloves, but no matter, they, you know, just spend $1,000 or I think a little bit more than that, you'll be good to go. For the buckle, you're gonna wanna unlock the Rattletail buckle. For weapon equipment, specifically for the offhand holster, you're gonna want to apply the Studded Bandit holster. And same thing for the gun belt, the Studded Bandit gun belt. The gun belt trinket is going to be the gable charm. For your bandoliers, you can check out the Salizo double bandoliers. Check out the light foot pants as the pant option for the executioner outfit. For the chaps, definitely want to unlock and apply the Alvarado chaps. And for the boots, this is the most expensive part of the outfit. I think they're four gold bars a piece, and so you can use other ones if you want, but I just think these go really well with the outfit, and I was like, eh, let's splurge and make this a very expensive outfit to make here in-game, so it can appeal to the high-level players as well, but low-level players can find items that are cheaper and work well for them. The boots specifically, you're going to want to check out the Kelly boots. So with all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and hopefully you enjoy that outfit. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. If you did enjoy today's video, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.